In recent days, with the news that a shipment of M141 small D anti-structure weapons have arrived in Ukraine as part of the US military aid shipments, a number of media articles and videos have been made on the subject which seem to confuse the small D with the AT4 and even the M72 law. So I thought it would be useful to take a look at the small D in a little detail. Hi guys, my name's Matt. Welcome back to another episode of the Armourer's Bench. So what is the small D? Its official designation is Rocket and Launcher 83mm HEDP Bunker Defeat Munition BDM M141 Small D. Small D stands for Shoulder Launched Multipurpose Assault Weapon Disposable. This isn't to be confused with the Mark 153 Shoulder Launched Multipurpose Assault Weapon used by the US Marine Corps. Though the small D did evolve from the earlier small. Originally developed by McConnell Douglas, the design was acquired by Tally Defense Systems, which was subsequently acquired by the Norwegian company Namo. Development of the small began in the early 80s and the system was adopted by the US Marine Corps as the Mark 153 in 1984. The Mark 153 has a reusable forward launch tube and firing mechanism, which has a spotting rifle and can be mounted with an optic. The warhead element of the small is attached at the rear of the launcher. The US Army was initially interested in the Mark 153, but preferred a lighter single-use weapon. In the early 1990s, the US began the search for a disposable shoulder-launched multi-purpose assault weapon. McDonnell Douglas offered a lighter disposable version of the Mark 153, taking the 153's high-explosive dual-purpose warhead and pairing it with a shorter Bairn rocket. In 1996, the US Army selected the small D, beating a Swedish design, the FFV-88, and the Hunting Engineering Law 80. The small D is similar to the 66mm M72, in that it telescopes with the launch tube extended before firing. When collapsed, it measures just under 32 inches in length, but extending the inner tube gives the weapon an overall length of 55 inches. The launch tube and rocket together weigh 15.7 pounds. The tube has a firing mechanism mounted on the side under a plastic cover, which when opened arms the rocket, ready to fire. The weapon has front and rear iron sights for aiming, and the small D can also be fitted with an ANPVS-4 night sight and various infrared aiming lasers for night fighting. To fire the M141, the operator removes the locking pin from the front of the launch tube, depresses the tube release button and extends the inner tube rearward. The operator then raises the weapon onto the right shoulder slides the front sight cover forward, and then the same with the rear. Then, opening the firing mechanism cover, pivoting it forward so it's flush with the tube. This also arms the weapon. The operator should then check the back blast area, and fire when ready by depressing the safety button, and then the red trigger button. The rocket is ignited by an electrical impulse sent from the firing mechanism. Once ignited, the rocket burns all of its propellant before it leaves the muzzle of the launch tube. This protects the operator. The M141 can engage targets out to 500 meters, but it's most effective up to 300. Its 83mm unguided, fin stabilized round has an integrated, high explosive dual mode warhead filled with 2.38 pounds of explosive. Detonation of the warhead is instantaneous when impacting on a hard target, such as a brick or concrete wall or an armored vehicle. Impact with a softer target, such as a sandbag bunker, results in a fuse time delay, which allows the rocket to penetrate into the target before the warhead detonates. It can penetrate up to 200 millimeters or eight inches of concrete, 300 millimeters or 12 inches of brick, and up to two meters of earth or sandbags. It can also penetrate up to 20 millimeters or 0.8 inches of rolled homogeneous steel, giving the M141 small D the ability to take on soft and lightly armored vehicles. For training at the range, a 21mm sub-caliber training system can be used. The small D saw service with the US Army during the war in Afghanistan and during the Iraq war. Some 6,000 units were initially procured, with an unknown number procured since. The small D is still in production and it remains an active part of NAMO's product line. It's estimated that perhaps 100 M141s have been shipped to Ukraine so far. 
from the US Department of Defense's packaging configuration table for the small d. We know that each metal container holds one round, and that 25 containers can be placed on one pallet. This appears to match up with the photos and video of the weapons being prepared for shipment. Since their arrival, the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense and media have shared photographs of Ukrainian personnel training with the M141s under the supervision of US troops. The training took place over two days at the 184th Training Center and the International Center for Peacekeeping and Security, part of the National Ground Forces Academy. These personnel will be likely tasked with training other Ukrainian units on how to use the weapon in the future. In recent days, some footage of Ukrainian personnel training with the M141s has been shared online. Here we can see some Ukrainian soldiers demonstrating how the rear tube is extended, locked into place, the shoulder rest deployed, and the fire mechanism cover opened, ready to fire. While the usefulness of the M141 might be questioned, as it isn't an anti-tank weapon, and could be considered more of an offensive rather than defensive weapon, it would no doubt prove very useful during urban fighting, which Ukraine anticipates in the event of an invasion. Thanks for watching guys. I wanted to make this follow up to my earlier video about the N law in Ukraine, especially as there's some confusion over what the small d actually is. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and be sure to subscribe. Please share the videos with friends, and if you really enjoy our content, please consider supporting us via Patreon. All patrons get early access to our videos, and you can also pick up some of our thank you perks, including stickers, postcards, and a copy of the Tab Advanced Combat Rifle Informative Coloring Book. Thanks again for watching. Catch you next time.